to remove the packaging foam from the top of the mini washer. Fix the top cover plate on the mini washer by rotating it 180 degrees and fixing four short screws supplied to secure it into position. Secure the L brackets to the top of the mini washer using type A screws. Install the brackets in forward or rear position, depending on the depth of the front loader. Temporarily place the mini washer into its final location and using a spirit level adjust the four mini washer feet until level. Push on the mini washer corners to confirm it does not rock. Lock the rear feet into place by tightening the locking nut. Do not lock the front feet at this time as they may need to be readjusted later. Move the mini washer into an open area ready to lift the main washer on top. Ensure that all the feet of the main washer are wound in all the way. Using two people to lift and slowly place the main washer on top of the mini washer. Ensure that the front feet sit secure in the footholders on top of the mini washer. And the rear of the main washer must sit against the L brackets. Secure the side holders with two type C screws each. Pull out the mini washer drawer and secure the front with two type C screws on each side. Secure the re brackets with two type A screws each. Wind down the feet of the main washer until they gently seat against the mini washer. Lock all four feet of the main washer with their locking nut. Remove the four transit bolts from the rear of the main washer. Using pliers, connect the drain hose to the mini washer with the included tension clamp. Ensure the curved end is in the upright position. Fit the remaining ends of the main and mini washer drain hoses into the Y piece using tension clamps. Using zip ties and the arch bracket, secure and neaten the drain hoses and place them into the spigot or sink. Connect one end of the short water inlet hose to the cold water tab. Connect the curved end of the long water inlet hose to the main washer's cold water inlet. Then, the other water inlet hose to the cold water inlet of the mini washer. Use the T-piece to join all three hoses together. Connect the hot water line between the main washer and tap using the last long inlet hose. Check for any leaks and ensure there are no kinks. Ensure you only use the hoses provided in the box. Position both attached units into the final location. Adjust the two front feet of the mini washer with the adjustment tool provided so that there is no front to back, side to side or diagonal rocking. Lock the mini washer's front feet with the locking nut after completing any adjustments. The anti-skid pads supplied may be placed under the mini washer's two front feet if required. Slowly turn on the hot and cold taps and check for leaks at the hose connections by using visual and audible inspection. Plug in both washers. Turn on the main washer. Select the quick 14 cycle. Press the start button. 
Do not add any clothes or detergent. Check the unit for leakages and vibration. Turn on the mini washer. Select the rinse and spin cycle. Monitor for leakages and vibration. Do not add clothes or detergent during this test. Note, during the main washer's test spin function, it may reveal a vibration. If so, then only readjust the appropriate front foot of the mini washer until the vibration is eliminated.